Well, God bless you, my friends. You know, over the past several days, I have been asked by several people uh, to post a video or some videos about uh, some of the escalating um, issues that we are dealing with today in the world concerning war and rumors of wars. People are asking if the uh, conflict in Russia and Ukraine have anything to do with Bible prophecy. Well, um, in a sense, what's going on right now has everything to do with Bible prophecy. I believe that everything that's going on now on the world stage is leading up to the events that we read about in uh, the various parts of Scripture that talk about uh, what's going to be happening in the very last days concerning governmental stability and, and uh, uh, pestilence and, and uh, fearful times and fearful sights and signs in the heavens and blood and fire and vapors of smoke and events leading up to uh, the coming of the Lord and then the day of the Lord. But one thing that I want you to remember is that with all of the voices that are being heard in the world today, we should never forget as children of God, the voice that we need to listen to is the voice of Logos, the living word of Almighty God. God is speaking today. And I know a lot of people are speaking and we're hearing a lot of voices today but let's not close our ears to the voice. God is speaking, and it's a good word. It's good news. Jesus is coming again. And I've heard so many people uh, ask the question, what can we do as members of the body of Christ today, seeing all of these terrifying things happen in a world that seems to be out of control? What should we do? as members of the body of Christ. Well, to give you a very basic, simplistic answer, it's time for the church to wake up, to get up, and go forward and live our purpose. Let's do what God has called us to do in these last days and share the gospel of the Lord Jesus Christ, this good news, with all the terrifying news that's going around the world today. Let's not forget that God's voice is speaking good news. Jesus saves and Jesus is coming again.